When you download a template from the web, most likely that template will not have any animation included in it. But you can easily add animation to the different components of each slide, either the text boxes or the uh, images that are embedded there. Since this is something fun for a holiday card and, and the intent is that it should be animated, this gives you the option to use some of the different animation options that would not work well in a normal presentation. So if we go ahead and select some text boxes here, one of the things that we can do is select animations. Let me try, I think flip is what I want here. So this effect is a little bit like snowflakes falling from the sky. So I think in terms of a holiday type of a digital card, this is a really good type of animation. One of the other things that you can do in terms of animation is to actually apply transition to the different slides. Because this is a digital holiday card, this can give us all sorts of different options in terms of the different um, animation options here. Uh, one of the things that I like is using either like the curtains, if I'm doing it on the first page here, applying curtains, and that kind of gives you an idea of an introduction to the holiday card. And then um, I like the page curl as well. So if we go back here and doing the page curl here, since this is a card and if you're wanting to give the impression of flipping through different sections of the card, the page curl animation or slide transition is a really nice feature as well. So with PowerPoint, you have a couple of different options in how you can save your digital holiday card. You would want to use is to do what's called an export. And in the export option, then you can actually select either an MP4 or an MOV file format. I would recommend MP4 because it's the most universal video format. And then you can modify the types of uh, level of quality that you want if you're embedding it on a web page, uploading it to a streaming server like YouTube. Internet quality is the perfect level of quality that you would like. And then you can just go ahead and export. As you can see, PowerPoint files exported as video are quite large. This particular slideshow had many slides in them. And so to make sure that the file isn't too large, you'll want to make sure you are minimizing the number of slides. And of course, the more animation you add, that will also make the file larger. One of the nice things too is that you can open up these files into a video editing application and make modifications, add voiceover narration or music if that's something that you would like. So one of the things that you can also see is that this file is over four minutes long, which is an indication of the number of slides that is actually in the default uh, template file that was downloaded. So you would also want to make sure you reduce the number of slides to make sure the file video file isn't too long. Uh, approximately 10 slides will result in about a minute. Of course, as a holiday card, you probably don't want it to be much more than a vid uh, one minute long. So editing any templates that you download is a really good idea. So that was a quick demo on how to create an animated card using PowerPoint.